Okay, so this is the mirror cell. Um, I finished it this weekend. Uh, I used the same design uh, that what Stellafane website has uh, for an F7.5 telescope, which is uh, exactly what I'm going to have. Um, originally, I had a hexagon cross-section -se tube, and uh, it was made out of wood, and it was really heavy, so I decided to just buy from uh, Lowe's uh, one of these uh, sauna tubes, and it cost about uh, five dollars, I think it was. So it's pretty cheap, very lightweight, and it should work all right. Here you can see uh, it comes with an interior um, coat of like a wax, some kind of a waxy layer, which I took out and I had to rough it up inside a little bit, which uh, is okay. Um, so I still have to paint it and then I got to open up the holes on the tube and all that stuff. So anyways, uh, you can see on the cell, um, I used uh, this type of bolt for the pull bolts and we carved into the wood the exact shape of the head of the bolt so that it doesn't rotate uh, with the wing that I have in the back uh, for collimation purposes. So you can see the outer uh, bolts have a wing nut. Uh, the bolts, the inner bolts are the push bolts and uh, they push against these plates you see there. I don't know if you can see that plate the bolt is touching. Um, so that should work okay. I put springs you can see the springs here, more or less, uh, for the pull bolts. And that, can, that helps keep the, the bolt in tension. So one difference I have with the uh, Stellafane design is that I didn't use T-nuts for this bolt, for the pull bolts. Um, the, the spring uh, should give it enough tension to keep the bolt from, uh, you know, just popping out. Um, I got the hole in the back here for ventilation. Perhaps I should have opened a hole uh, over here, but it, I figured there should be enough ventilation anyway, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, otherwise, that's the mirror cell. I still have to paint it, um, but it should work all right. The mirror is finally finished. Um, I actually had to go up to uh, St. Petersburg uh, near Tampa, Florida. Uh, they have a telescope making or mirror making uh, lab up there, um, which was very nice. They have a robotic Foucault tester, and uh, it does everything automatically. It measures the mirror's um, uh, figure and uh, does it for you instead of having to do it manually with uh, my homemade Foucault tester. It was very nice doing that, and um, I finished the mirror better than ninth wave, which is pretty good for a first mirror. Um, we made this box to keep the mirror from uh, moving around and just to keep it uh, safe, you can see the mirror inside. I put the, the um, surface of the mirror face down and we, it, it sits on these uh, leather straps here we put inside the box. And then we measured the box and had to add a little bit of a, a wooden layer here to keep the mirror from moving around. So this works pretty well. And when I close it up and I pick it up, I can actually move the mirror around and it does not it does not budge inside the box so this is a great, a great uh, way to transport your mirror I still have to uh, aluminize it which I will do hopefully within the next two weeks so that's it for now uh, telescope is uh, getting there <laughs>